Hey guys, okay, so I am going to go through some Canva training. It's gonna be super basic, but just to kind of get you guys started on how to use Canva, where to find stuff, how to create kind of general posts and where to find things to upload, like photos and, and that kind of stuff. And just kind of the basics that are there, I'll take you through that and then, um, and then I'll stop the recording and if there are any questions. So I'm going to share my screen. Let me see here. Okay, so this is Canva. Most of you guys have Canva or have seen Canva. And if you haven't, here's Canva. Okay, so basically you can find anything you need in Canva um, to allow you to be able to create graphics that you want to create, whether they are Instagram stories, Facebook posts, even your Facebook um, cover photos for your groups can be created in Canva. Um, and I find once you get used to it, I find that it's actually pretty easy to navigate through. So um, I'm going to start, you can literally search any template, but I'll usually kind of scroll through down here and find what I'm looking for. So I will usually create my graphics for announcements or posts in my groups, like some of those check-in posts that you see, I'll use Facebook post. So if you open up Facebook post, on the left-hand side, there's going to be a ton of templates that you can choose from. And you can actually search if you want, like you can search uh, announcement. And there are some templates for announcements are gonna come up, right? So I have the free version, don't have to pay, but I have the free version. So you can always tell if you toggle over one of them, if it's free or not, see this one says free. So this one would be a free one, for example, right? So let's say I'm gonna find a free one that I can use to create something with a photo, of course. There's, okay, let's do this one. Okay, so this one's free. I've pulled up this template. I'm gonna work with this template and I'm gonna create a new coach announcement, for example. So these are the announcements that we post in the Facebook group if we are announcing a new coach or shouting out somebody being leveled up. So I'm gonna decide to use this template. This photo at the top here can be changed. You can put whatever photo you'd like in there. So this is if we're just gonna use a template. So if you go down on the left-hand side of your screen, you will see photos, elements, text, music, videos, background. So I'm using a computer. It's easier on a computer. It's different on a cell phone. Um, so if I go into my uploads, I already have a ton of pictures uploaded. But if you want to upload a picture from your computer, you would just click upload an image. I'll just go pick one. Um, let's see what I've got here. I think I've got... See if I have somebody. No, I don't in there. Of course I don't. Let's go in here. Let's choose, I don't know what this is. Let's choose this one. <laughs> All right, so that'll upload. Oh, it's me, there we go. So if I wanna put this picture in this space, I would just, if I, if I click on the picture, it'll just come up just like this. I don't want it like that. I want it to cover that whole space. So if I drag it over, it will cover that space. To move it, if you double click on it, I can move it around. So there's my face. All right, so it's a bad picture to choose, but that's the picture I uploaded. Um, so I'm gonna use this picture. Now I've got this text already here. I chose a template that I really liked the text. So if this is the text that I like, then this is the text that I'm going to use. If I want the handwritten one, then all I have to do is type what I want to say, welcome Tara, right? If I want to keep this here, which I kind of do, just to say, let's say new coach alert. I like that text, it's good to go. But I don't want this thing down here that says Nick and Callie are pleased to announce their engagement. So if I click on it, I can just click and hit delete or I can go up here to the top and click the garbage button and delete that particular element. Now that's gone. Okay, so now I have, this is my kind of general template, but 
maybe I don't really like this color down here. So if I click on this sort of element here, just down kind of in the corner where I'm not clicking on any text and click up here where the color is, I can change that color to whatever I want. So let's try that one. Okay, I like that. That's gonna be my template. If I want to add my logo, so I already have my logo saved, uploaded. I've created a logo. I already have it uploaded, but you can upload just like a picture. You can upload your, um, your logo. So let's use this one. I can click on this one. It appears that way and I can make it smaller. And I can drag it, let's say, into this corner. Now I have my logo there. All right. So that's kind of just using a template. You can do that with any template that there is. It saves automatically in all changes saved. If I want to add more text to this, for whatever reason, I want to put something up here that says congratulations. You can click on text. And you can put kind of generic font in there, or you can scroll through these combinations and pick any sort of text that you like. Okay, so if I like, let's say I like this one. I'm going to click on it. It's going to appear here on my template. I'm going to move it where I want it, but I don't want this. So I'm going to delete that. And I don't want this, so I'm going to delete that but I do like this and I'm going to say congrats. If I want to make it smaller because it's too big, just like on Word, you would change your font size. Let's change it to 48. Perfect. All right. So now I've got my whatever graphic that I want to put to upload if I want to into our Facebook group to announce my coach. So now all I have to do is click on this little download button and download it. So I'm not going to download it, but that, that's how I would download it. All right. So that's a very basic overview of how to use a template. There are so many other things that you can do. So I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but with a blank, um, with a blank template. So you can play with some of the features that are on the left hand side here. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go back home just so you can see when you go home. I didn't have to save that anywhere. It saves automatically. When you go home, that one will appear right here. So it's just generating, but the one I just created will appear right where it says your designs and it says welcome Tara. That's going to be that particular one. So I can leave it there or I can delete it. So if I want to create a new blank one, I would go into Facebook post. And it's just going to be blank. I'm not going to click on a template. I'm just going to work with this blank one. All right. So let's say same thing. I want to upload a picture of somebody. If you click on elements and you click on grids or frames. So I'm going to use a frame. Let's say I want to use a circle frame. And then I click on my uploads. And I want to put um, a picture of me in there. If I drag that picture over, it'll go into that frame. So now I have a frame of me in here. And let's say I don't want a white background. You have the option of changing the color of your background if you want. So let's say I make it that color. And you can, so right here it says photo colors. It will actually pull on colors that it finds in your photo. So you can match it to your photo. So I can change it to a different color or I can click on background and I can create a separate background. So if I like this one, this one, let's say, because it's free, I can click on that and it makes that my background. Alternatively, I can choose in photos. If I wanted to search fitness 
and I want to find a free one. I like these weights. I can either click on that and the picture will appear there or I'm going to delete that. I can drag it, make it the whole background if I want to. So there's so many different options for your backgrounds to create the kind of graphic that you want to create. And then if I go on to elements and I scroll down and I choose, so sometimes you see people that have fancy little words written in bubbles, or I like to use this one. You can make it bigger. And I can add some text in there. All right, I'm going to say let's let's do this. I want to make it smaller so it fits in that space. So let's say I make it 20. And I want to change the color of that font. Let's make it black. There we go. So now I've got font in there. I can change that font style by drop at this drop down menu here. And I can change the font style to whatever I want it to be. If I wanted to block something out that appears in another picture. So I'm going to show you and if I don't if I don't like that, like I can just I can either delete it or I can click back and it'll take me back to where I was. Super easy to get rid of all that stuff if you want to. Okay, let's say I wanted to use. I'm going to see if I can find something that I can block out. Let's see. All right, let's say I am using this. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Let's say I drag this in here. I'm going to get rid of this as well because I don't want that anymore. Oops. There we go. Okay, let's start again. Oh my goodness. Not doing very good. Okay. I'm going to move this up. Okay, so this was a template that Jamie and Kim shared. I wanted to create it to be my own, but I'm like, but it has all of their stuff on there. I don't want their stuff. I want my stuff on there. If I go into elements, I need to go back. There we go. And I go into lines. I can grab, I usually will just use this one. I can make it bigger. This one's not going to be a good one. No, I don't want that one. I'm lying. <laughs> if I go into shapes, where's shapes here? Here we go. And I pull out this square. I can make it smaller. Sorry, guys, my computer's being a pain in the butt. I can make it wider and thinner. Where'd that thing go? There we go. Okay. Wider and thinner, and I can actually cover this. Okay, so I'm going to cover what they had there, and I can change the color of this block if I want. I can make it black. Okay, so now I've covered that block, and I want my own stuff in there. I want my logo in there. So I'm going to go to my uploads, I'm going to find my logo. I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to put it in that space. So I'm going to drag it down here. Okay, so now my logo is there. I can put this behind something. I can position it behind. Obviously, I don't want to do that because I want my logo there. I can bring it back forward. So you can put something behind a, an image. You can put it in front of an image. I can reduce the transparency of it if I want it to appear faded. Okay, so that my logo appears like it's faded in the background. And then I can add text. And I can say, my team name if I want. I'm gonna change the color though because I wanna drag it down into here. And there we go. 
now I've made this graphic my own. Right, so if you see somebody else share a graphic that you want to use, but you want to put your own team logo on it super easy to do. You just have to cover their logo and put your stuff on top of it. And then same thing. I can save this download it. I keep going to point to the screen. You guys can't see me pointing. I can download it here with this little drop down menu and click download and save it to my computer. Okay, so you can take anybody else's graphic and make it your own. This is a duplicatable business, guys, so you don't have to create all of this stuff on your own. You can use somebody else's stuff, but you can put your name on it. Okay, so that's kind of how you create. And then there's different, so let's go back home. A lot of you guys want to know how to create like the Instagram stories. So if you click on Instagram story, again, you're going to find a whole bunch of templates that you can use. So if you can use any one of these templates to create anything you want, right? They're all in the stories here. You just create what it is that you want to create. So if I chose uh, this one, I can change any of the elements. Actually, I've used this one before. I can change any of the elements. So if I click on this, I can put a picture in there. Again, let's go to my uploads. Let's put Melicia in there. There we go. Now she's in there. And let's put Carrie in there. There's Carrie. And there's me. Right? So I can drag whatever pictures I want in there. Um, I can move these around so you can play with the templates. If I want to bring Melicia's picture behind these other pictures, again, you click on position and you can go behind. So now she's behind the other two. Okay. So super easy to manipulate these templates as well to make them what you want to make them. If you want to make it a story that has uh, multiple slides, you can just copy this same page if you want to work with this same image, or you can just add one. So now I'm going to choose a different story for the next option. This one has a video. Oh, is this one free? I didn't check if this one's free. It is. Um, so it looks like I can put something in here. So again, I'm going to go to my uploads and I will put Emily in there. There we go. You can add text just like in everything else. So I like this one. I'm going to use this writing. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to get rid of this bottom part because I don't want that. And you can change whatever this says by clicking and then going backwards and deleting it and typing what you want. Okay, so now I've got two stories. So when I save this one, when I download this one, I'm going to download all pages. Both pages will go to my computer. What I'll do to get it to my phone then is like, I'll just email it to myself because I'm not super tech savvy. I mean, I can use Canva, but so I'll just email it to myself, save it onto my phone. And then I've got that on my phone and I can upload it to my stories. Super simple, really easy, don't have to kind of fuss with it. So a lot of you guys then have seen the templates that come from Shalene and you want to amend them, but you have to make a copy first, right? So let me see if I can pull one that I can make a copy of. So if you see it in here, if I wanted to amend this to put a new coach in here, this Welcome Tara one, if I click on these three, three little lines up here, I can make a copy of that one. So this one stays in case I want to use it again. And then I've got this one and I can amend this one. Right? So now I'm going to be welcoming, let's see here. I will welcome Linda again to the group. So I've got Linda in there. All I got to do is change the name. Don't have to fuss with it. It's the same announcement every time. Um, I might choose a better picture based on, but it would be the same template. I just have to change the picture and the name. So I'm not spending a ton of time fussing with it and recreating it every single time. It's the exact same one. I just reuse it. 
And then again, this one's saved. As long as it says all changes saved up here, that one's saved. I can click back home and that one's going to be in my templates, in my designs. So there that one is. If I go into all of my designs, so I'm just going to try and find a story that Shalene has shared with us before. Of course, I can't find one now. I can't find one now when I need it. Of course, I can't. Okay, so let's go into this one. If I want to send this one to somebody else so that they can use it, once my internet becomes stable again, if I go into file, should be able to, I can make a copy here and that should allow me to be able to send it to people. Nope, I'm lying. That's not working now. There is a way, and of course, now that I'm actually going through it, because that has worked for me before, that's how I've sent it. I think I've sent Emily one before of mine that she's been able to work through. Um, but now, of course, now that I need to, I can't. But there is, so when, when Shalene sends something that you need to make a copy of, oh, yeah, that's how you do it. You make a copy. <laughs> so you would make a you would make a copy of hers first. Don't if someone sends you one like a link. If someone sends you a link to a story and says make sure you make a copy first before you start editing it. So if I sent you a link for this one for you to use as a story, if you edit this one, you're going to change my template. So you have to make a copy first. So that's when you go file make a copy. Now you're not using that one that that person sent you. You're using your own. You can amend it. It will not affect theirs. Okay. Cause now there's a copy, right? So now I, as long as it says copy of up at the top, you are good to start amending. That becomes your template. You are good to go. Right. Um, and then you can just do everything that I've said in terms of adding your own picture in. So a lot of those story templates that Shaleen shares with us, there are some in the, um, the master guide in the training for you guys to use if you wanted to. So there's templates of those. You can just add your own pictures. You can change the font. You can change the text. You, once you've made a copy of it, you can change it to make it your own. So that's like if your pictures aren't fitting in what they have, then you can just change it to be your own. Or for example, sometimes the ones they share, if someone has um, a paid version of Canva, they may be using some sort of element. For example, let's see. They might be, oh, that one's free. That's not gonna, that's not gonna work. Um, let's see a non-free one. If someone is using one of these graphics, these are all free, of course they are. If someone's using a graphic that costs money, these ones will probably be, nope, they're all free too. Look at everything's free today. It's not cooperating with me. A lot of these elements though are not free. Of course it's not, they're all gonna be free today. Maybe they're, maybe they're all free today. Um, but if the element is not free, if someone's used an element that isn't free or someone's used a graphic that isn't free or a background that isn't free, it'll show up on your, um, on your graphic. Let's see if I can, seriously, is it like free Canva day today? Because whenever I need to find them, they're all ones that you have to pay for. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to show you what happens. The, a grid comes up if you're using one that is from a paid version. So there'll be like a crisscross grid across it and you'll see the Canva watermark. That means it's not free. So if you didn't check first, you can just change that particular element. Because if you try to download it and someone's used a paid graphic or a paid background and you don't have a paid version of Canva, you won't be able to download it. It'll tell you you have to pay for that. So just go back, find which one, it'll show you which one was the paid element. Just go back and change that in the template, okay? And then you'll be fine, you'll be good to go. 
So I think that I covered everything, I think, in terms of the basics. Guys, give me a thumbs up if those were like, if that was good enough to kind of give you a good baseline. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording and then we can ask some questions.